there and welcome to STEM Time with the Houston Public Library. I'm Miss Crystal and today we will be making a machine called a water wheel to show how the energy of flowing water can power other machines to do work. This activity would work well for those ages 8 and up. So to get started, here are the supplies you will need. Two paper plates, a straw, tape, small paper cups, a pair of scissors, and a source of water like a sink faucet. That would be the best. The first thing we need to do is to poke a hole in the center of both paper plates that's big enough for the straw to go through. I stacked my plates together to try to get the holes in the same place on both sides. Be very careful when using the scissors to create the holes. This might be a good time for adult supervision to be close by in case it is needed to help with this particular step. All right, so I have my hole. I need to make it a little bigger for my straw. All right, that ought to be good there. We'll check, and that's going to work well. Next, we're going to tape the four paper cups to the back of one of our plates. You will need to hold two cups in place to see how far from the center hold to tape the first cup. This will ensure that the cups are evenly placed and spaced so that they align correctly and the wheel will turn the way we want it to when we add the source of water. All right, so about, about right there. Now, the good thing about getting the cups taped down is that it doesn't have to look pretty. It's an experiment. We're more interested in the process and result of what we're building than how it looks at this point. So I found that if I tape one side of the cup, then the other, and overlap the tape, it's a lot easier than trying to use one long piece of tape to hold the cup down. So see, like I've done one side, and I'm using masking tape so it's easier to see. You can use scotch tape, you can use duct tape, whatever you have handy. But this was a little easier to see. So it's going to look something like that. Now, you're going to follow the same process in order to attach the other three cups so that when you're finished, it looks something like this. <clears throat> now, we're going to tape the second plate to the other side of your paper cups. We're going to place a piece of tape rolled into a loop so that the sticky side is on the outside of each cup. So I'll put one there. I'll put one here. And since the cup's a little wider at the top, that's going to be the point where the other plate will touch it first. So that's why I'm putting them towards the top. Okay. Now we're going to tape the second plate to the other plate with the cups. So I'm going to put my straw through to help me align my plates so that when I put my second one on, it's a little bit easier to get the tape to stick. And if I've done this well, my wheel should roll. So it looks like we did a pretty good job. Everything's attached. Now, here's the fun part. We're going to hold the water wheel firmly by the straw and add a slow stream of water uh, under the sink and watch our water wheel work. <laughs> Look at that, isn't that great? Now, in the Middle Ages, water wheels were used as a main source of power for driving large machines. They were used to grind uh, grain into flour, 
They were used to crush rocks, and they were even used later on as a source of power. And the great thing about a water wheel is it's a clean form of energy and doesn't harm the environment. There we go, gotta get it going here. There we go. So, if you'd like to expand on this experiment, design a simple machine to attach to your water wheel that does work of some kind. What ways can you find to use this energy source to help do work? Thank you so much for joining us for STEM Time today. We'll see you next time. Bye.